And now we're here. Fantastic. All right, next step is to create an index. And here we have body. So let's move. Yeah, come on. Let's move this inside here. And welcome to Web Development 101 with Zenit. Not really, but we're going to write some stuff in here. So let's do a type. Let's call it Mind Super Some website that is gonna act everything and in here we have the body and in here we're gonna do a heading one hello world followed by a paragraph i don't know why i'm doing so much work just for a test site hello world. i'm sandy when we save this and now i'm pretty sure it's something like off index h you know okay well good oh why is it so complicated Put a index index two. Why don't I have the permissions to write my own damn thing? Why why did I get the account if I can't even upload the file? Okay, now it's worked out. Okay, let's take a look at our beautiful website we just crafted. So this was the before, and this is how it looks now. Fantastic craftsmanships. You can really feel my my experience as a full stack web development uh, yeah as a full stack developer or engineer over here don't you see the beautiful website that i just created in five seconds fantastic so now let's continue in here and do something really crazy which is we are just gonna copy this or uh, actually we're just gonna create an index dot PHP. Oh, now, now we're cooking with gas. And here we're writing echo, hello world. Just, just like this. Here we have to write PHP. And now we do the same. So we put the index.php and we uploaded the index.php. Now, if I write here index and I refresh it, I don't have permission to access this resource on this server. All right. I'm not sure what does, what, what, what what that's supposed to mean let's try if we can ch mod here okay now we have made it an executable and it's still not working all right so we have to find another way luckily we have all this search exploit stuff so let's open up a new shell in here and cat the search exploit okay it looks like shit so let's go to the one where it looks nicer cat search exploit yeah yeah cat is small okay and we have a couple of things i would like to know the name of the cves to be honest but we have a local privilege escalation maybe that's gonna be important and let's just get this and copy it into our handy notes maybe test with this one question mark and mark answers with apache options memory i don't really care about that denial of service i don't care about that so we're gonna do a pro gamer move which is we are gonna just search for apache we have search this one exploit okay and we have a medium article which is also nice and now we just need to do a little bit of security research yeah as if this would be security research we are just reading some stuff and then hopefully trying to exploit it so 2.4.25 maybe i should put this on a sticky note because i can't seem to remember this number 0.4.25 i have two pets four credit cards and i'm 25 that 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 were all lies by the way i'm not even sure what we're actually trying to achieve are we trying to write somewhere we can't write or are we trying to like for example overwrite the ssh authorized keys on one of the users that exists i'm not sure by the way wait 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 i have an idea i'm not sure it's gonna work out at all but i have it and since I have it, I'm gonna use it. Why don't I just use the same credentials but for SSH? This service allows SFTP connections only. Come on, they thought about that. Okay, I can't get out of here, right? What if I put index.html outside of here? Is this possible? No, permission denied. All right, okay. Maybe we are actually trying to go the PHP route where we exploit some kind of bug here and try to upload a file that's executed. But I'm unsure what could be done. I mean, let's try first of all, JavaScript should work. Let's do a little script thingy. Alert, save it. And then, and then put index 
HTML. Boom, boom. And now, if we are allowed to do JavaScript, we should get an alert box. So let's refresh. Oh, okay. So we can use JavaScript. Maybe we can use that for something. There is a lot of talk that has to do with load average and DOS already mentioned in this one. Are we supposed to DOS this website? And this admin.php. There's this admin thing that doesn't have a link. What's where does it point to nowhere all right i think that's like the last thing that we can do for our guesswork uploading thing without having more knowledge so we are gonna pause it okay so i didn't do any fussing on this machine up until now let's go to our cheat sheets and here we have foo and i'm not sure should we could do a directory fussing or what i actually want to check is like a vhost fussing maybe we try this one first right why can't i copy paste from there that's just sad okay all right we have to solve this problem real quick now this looks like something that is not copyrighted so let's go in here cyber security and hacking and now let's do another folder and call it 02 tool and in here we make a new node and then we can insert as we call it doc i think that or doc goods insert template and then we have node stock and we just call it tool sheet sheet we paste it in here but uh, this will also be a benefit for you because then it will be available online on my website and you can check it out yourself what do we have here misc and doc all right so let's open the terminal let's go to the notes website boom boom, boom. get status it add say add a push or let's pull first <laughs> Git pull and then get pull fantastic get push all right now it should be available on my website so let's go in here and go in here and let's go to notes.xyz and like hard hard refresh it a couple of times then we have tools and the cheat sheet ah, i don't need to copy paste from inside or outside the vm into the vm when I can just host it on my website. By the way, if you want to check out these notes, you can check out this link. I will put all my notes up there one by one. I think it will mostly happen during the live streams as you just saw right now. But yeah. All right. Back to the thing we actually came here for, which is the we, we host fussing. Let's go in here. Boom, boom. Now, our thing is not academy. Our thing is called 127. So we have 127.http and in here we want to force the, the host header of the HTTP request, blah, 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 blah. That's the name here. So that's a way on how to find out, for example, on an Apache server, you can host, come on, you can host multiple websites on an Apache server on one server and just have it on different virtual hosts, one, seven, which is exactly what it looks like this website is doing. So seven. And now we need to find like a word list to replace this false word with some actual values, which we have here. A domain word list in the cyclist discovery DNS. So let's check out where we have this user and then DNS, and then there was like a stop domain, stop 5,000. All right, let's go with this one. And here, home. Oh.